everybody his was bent down like in a sigh of sadness, but we just didn't run back and they got they capitalized off those opportunities. Do you think, think Turge has said it feels like things are weighing on you guys, just with title implications and stuff like that. Do you sense that at all or is that? I mean, yeah, there's, there's always going to be pressure about that. Uh, got a lot of, it's kind of hard to like deal with ourselves and hearing outside people talking about uh, blah, blah, blah about the team, but it's just a matter of us just locking down and focusing and just taking it one game at a time from now on. Montez Mathis from Baltimore. Did, did you know him growing up? What did you think of his play tonight? Oh, yeah. Me and Montez are close growing up. Uh, pretty much we play AU against each other, play high school against each other. So, I mean, he's a great player, athletic, and just he's, he's pretty much a slasher that and shooter that Rutgers need. Sticks, um, besides the defense recently, rebounding's also been, I, I know something you guys been turning around, um, out rebounded tonight. What do you think, you know, what do you attribute, I guess, to that, and how do you guys turn it around on the boards? Uh, pretty much we just got to start attacking the boards a lot more now. Uh, we had, we lost that mentality of trying to grab every rebound off the backboard, and we just got to figure out a way just to start boxing out more and just grabbing them offensively and defensively. You guys got a lot of open looks tonight, just weren't falling. What do, what do you think? you know, you can do to keep creating those looks, but, you know, start knocking them down? Uh, just pretty much just continue to get open, uh, continue to get our shooters open to make sure we're cutting at the right time. And, I mean, some shots are going to fall, some shots are going to not fall. It's just a matter of just getting back on defense, and that's what we're lacking at right now. How what, what, Fleeting, how did, sorry, go ahead. How the Fleeting was in the first half when you guys, you know, would bring it close, you know, especially towards the end when you guys bring it within three and then they go on that, you know, big 7 0 run? Um, I mean, it happens a lot in basketball. It's just a matter of, the mentality you have going back and if you're going to let it affect you or not. We let it affect us and we dug ourselves in the hole and couldn't couldn't get out of it. Where does this crowd rank against you know, some of the other away crowds that you've played against? Oh, they're a top crowd. Uh, their fans was amazing. Uh, cheering for their team the whole night, yelling at us the whole night. And it was a loud, loud arena every time they scored. And we just, I mean, they were just a great crowd, like all across the Is it hard to believe that they have, what, they fit about 10,000 less people in here than at Xfinity Center? I mean, no, not really. I mean, as you on the court, you can see how big it is and just how loud and echo, like the shape of it echoes all throughout the court. Did you feel like you guys maybe That's got one, yeah. too too reliant on the outside shot tonight? I uh, know. I mean, we had a lot of great shots, uh, a lot of open looks. They just wasn't falling for us tonight. Uh, the rim, the ball didn't bounce our way, and Rutgers capitalized on it by making shots and running out and transitioning on us, and it was just just wasn't out there. Thanks, Thanks Dick. Thank you. Thanks.